All right, this is Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 3, where we're going to be talking about one more. We're going to be using objects to talk about one more. So here it says, how many objects do you see? Draw one more, and then how many objects are there now? So parents and teachers, the idea is we want students to first count, identify how many there are, and then when they're drawing one more, we want them to start and count on from their original place and rather than starting all over. Let me show you an example. So let's take a look at number one. So we're looking at these cylinders, and I see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine cylinders right now. And we're going to draw one more. It says draw one more. So I'm going to draw one more cylinder. And now how many are there? Well, we don't want students to start all over and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really what we want students to do is to count on from that original value. So originally we had nine. So we want students to say nine... 10. So 1 more than 9 is 10. So 9 plus 1 is 10. So what would our number bond look like? It would look like 9 and 1 is 10. Now parents and teachers, remember over here, students can swap the 1 and the 9. They can have the 1 on top and the 9 on the bottom. The thing they cannot swap in this case is the 10. We need that 10 to be right there because it's the whole. 1 and 9 are the part. So let's continue practicing. So we see right here, we've got 5 stars here. And we're going to count on 6, 7. So we have 7 stars all together. But then we need to draw one more star. And I'm going to love watching first graders draw that star. <laughs> and so we had, we had 7. And we drew one more star. So how many stars do we have now? Well, we're going to start with the seven and then count on one more. So seven, eight. And we probably want to see our students point a finger out to show one more than seven. So eight is one more than seven. So eight is equal to seven plus one. So what would our number bond look like? Oh, our number bond could look like a seven here, a one here, and then an eight here. Um, the 8 is not negotiable. It's got to go there. But the one, some students could put the 1 on top and the 7 on the bottom, and that would be perfectly fine. Now, I chose this one. This is the final problem in this slide, uh, in this video. I chose this one not because it was hard, but because I think I see a typo. So the question says, imagine adding one more pencil to the picture, then write the numbers to match how many pencils there were, will be. So down here... They're saying one more than five is. Well, that tells me there really probably should have been five pencils to start with. So I'm putting in two more pencils. So now we have our five pencils. So I can see five. And then one more pencil gives us six pencils altogether because we had five up here, and then you say five, and then you kind of use a fist, and you say five, and then one, one more. So five, six. So five plus one is six. So what's our, num our number bond going to look like? Our number bond is going to look like a one right here. So let's get that one going. And then a five down here, and then our whole is a six. So our number bond is looks like that. And that wraps up grade one, module one, lesson three, where we are counting and we're doing one more. So things like five plus one equals six.